Another video from W3Hat for all your web development needs. Hi guys, um, Mal. The video I posted before about submitting a form using Ajax. Now, I got a lot of complaints because people claimed it wasn't Ajax, it was just HTML or it was just PHP, I can't remember what they were saying. Um, so I'm going to show you another method that we actually uses Ajax in JavaScript form. Right, now you guys are probably thinking you've seen other videos and by the looks of it it's really hard to do. Well, thankfully the guys at jQuery have made it so much easier so we're going to use the jQuery library. Right, so we're going to do jazzy text inputs type is equal to text name is equal to text and then we're going to do inputs type is equal to button value is equal to jazz up my text so as you might be able to tell already um, what we're doing is just making a form so people can input text and then jazz it up so let's find our folder there we go Right. So, what we need to do is we need to get the jQuery library. So the way we're going to do this, do script type as text or HTML, and we're going to do oh text or HTML, JavaScript. Sorry, and source is equal to HTTP code jQuery dot com for slash jQuery dash latest. I will add this in the video description so you guys know where it is right and then we're going to do script type is equal to text or javascript and this is going to be our javascript block right so we can take a look at our form very simple form and very simple JavaScript right so in order for this button to actually do anything we need to add an event and we're gonna put the on click and then we're gonna do jazz text right now because we want the results to show on the page just underneath the form going to make a div and we're going to give it an ID of results. At the moment it's going to have something saying um, enter your text in the box above and then click quote jazz up my text right so if we look in now enter text in the box above then click jazz up my text right so let's start doing this right we need to create a function that's the same as that actually we're going to make that capital T so you can tell it's two different words right we're going to do function jazz text Right, now first thing we need to do is we need to get the value from there. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable with a keyword var. And we're going to get the value of that field. So we're going to do input with the name. This is a CSS selector, name equal to text. And then we're going to do dot val. 
Now this is going to take the value of it. So now we're going to need to check that they've actually given us something. So if um, actually we've done that wrong, haven't we? There is equal to value. Right. So we're going to do if value is equal to false or we're going to do val dot length. Oh, why did I put or? Terrible today. Or is smaller than. Let's make it two. Uh, echo. What am I doing? Um, going to do results dot html. Now this is going to change the contents of our results box we've made. I'm going to put you didn't enter a value or the value is smaller than two characters right else we're going to carry on with our script okay so we're going to do jquery.ajax now we're going to do a regular bracket and then a curly bracket then we're going to do a regular bracket again and then our the other way around curly bracket and then a regular bracket right now there's there's a few things that this function needs one of them is the type so we're going to put type the type is post or get so we're going to use post um, there's another one that's going to be um, URL now this is going to be the document that we're sending this to so jazzmytext.php um, we also need to send the data now the way you would do this is you put in what you want the post name to be so if we were to submit this using a submit button we would use underscore post text so we just, we're going to use the same so we're going to put text is equal to let me give you this plus to add the value now plus is like a period in PHP it just amends text so before send what we want to do is add a function and we're going to do get a results and we're gonna add jazzing up your text please wait right and then we're going to do error now this is in case it returns an error we're going to do function alert sorry Ooh. internal error right and what also we're going to do is we're going to try and hide we're going to hide everything just so they can't do it again because obviously actually no, we won't we'll do backslash r backslash n this is going to put the text on a new line and it's going to say please try again and if it continues to fail please contact the web master right so we've done that the next one is timeout obviously you don't if there is an error and it can't find the document you don't want them to have to wait forever to get this error so we're going to change the timeout time now I think three seconds is long enough as it is so we're going to put three seconds this is in milliseconds so we're going to put three thousand 